In this video, I will be showing you the most advanced techniques used by the top speedrunners in GTA Online to make everything they do just a little bit faster and more efficient. These can range from saving just a couple of seconds to maybe even minutes, and as we all know, time is money. So here are the top 9 advanced speedrunning strats you probably don't know. The first tip is very easy to do and doesn't take any mastering whatsoever, and that's setting your spawn location. To do this, go to your interaction menu and change it from there. The main reason you'll want to do this is because on new gen consoles and PC, it only takes a few seconds to load into a new lobby and start the next phase of whatever it is you're doing. Obviously on old gen it would take slightly longer, but it would still save you time. This is mostly used for heists, where the finished location of a prep or setup mission is somewhere else on the map. A good example of this is something like the end of the signal setup mission for the Pacific Standard Job Heist, where you spawn in a grapeseed. Simply loading into a new lobby will have you back in your apartment ready to start the next prep in mere seconds, rather than minutes waiting for Lester's text invite. If you thought this strat was really obvious, you'd be surprised at how many people just don't use it. Spawn locations then bring you onto the importance of location overall. From apartment and doomsday elite challenges to simply getting preps and setups completed faster, location is all important. For example, you want the Del Perro Heights location for the fleece job setups, but then Alter Street for the finale. For the prison break, the best location for all setups and the finale is Integrity Way. Here is a list of all the best locations for the apartment heist, so feel free to come back and jot these down if you want to give these a go. For some of these missions, you can trip skip just as long as all four players are in the same vehicle and have completed the heist mission before. For the Doomsday Scenario preps and setup, you want the facility in Grand Sonora Desert, but for the finale in Act 2, you'll want the Palato Bay facility, and for Act 3, you want the Sandy Shores facility. It is possible to switch facilities during missions by buying a new one, but it would set you back quite a chunk of money. The best overall facility is the one in Grand Sonora Desert. For the silent and sneaky approach in the Diamond Casino, you want the 8-bit arcade in Vinewood, but for the big con and aggressive approach, you want the video getting in La Mesa. And now the fastest locations for the auto shop contracts. And the best agency location for speedruns is Howick. The cousin of spawn locations is job warping. Job warping is the best way to travel the map while staying in the same lobby. Simply find a job on the map near a location you want to get to, start up the job and then disconnect your controller. On console, wait for the sound to dip out and then reconnect your controller. This will take around 30 seconds on console, but only around 5 seconds on PC. You can also job warp during missions. To do this, bring up your phone, then go to quick join, random, alone, and accept. Then bring up your phone again and go to quick join and then back out. This will now allow you to job warp during missions, which was previously impossible. Piece of shit! This is very handy for getting to locations far away from your start point or to be used to get back to where you want to be. There is a way to stop certain missions from spawning, which will mean you can get the desired mission you're after. You can use a vehicle like the Sparrow or a Pegasus vehicle, or you can call in a dinghy from your Kasatka and transport it with the cargo bob.
blowing up a dinghy would allow you to call another one in and it won't disappear. Putting these vehicles right where the mission spawns will prevent them from happening. So if you don't want to drive the group sex truck from Palato Bay or collect and deliver the guns or collect the cars here for the Diamond Casino heist, you can block them from spawning like this. One thing I always do when entering a new lobby is request a job from Simeon, as he's only one click away on my phone. What can I help you with? No problem, coming right up. But you can do this with either Ron. Hey there, how are you? Martin or Gerald. Hello, can I help? Yeah. Accessing a job is ideal for a few things, like buying armor, or stocking up on weapons. but its main purpose is how you can use it to lose the cops, which comes in super handy when delivering the long fin boat for the Cape Rico prep. Deliver the boat to the docks. I have contact who can fix it and store it until we are ready. Doing this will also spawn your vehicle right next to you, just as long as it's already active on the map. As long as you don't start the job, it will remain on your phone for the whole time you're in the current lobby. If you go into your interactions menu and down to vehicles, then vehicle remote functions, you'll have the option to turn on your vehicle's engine when you're not in it. This is a neat little time save as it means as soon as you enter your vehicle and accelerate, it will do so immediately. You can also open the doors, saving you even more time. Having your terabyte close to certain locations, like the arcade when doing casino preps, is a great way to lose the cops, as the previous way of losing them with accepting jobs does not work here in some cases. Getting in with your Oppressor Mark II will also restock its missiles. Your gunman will stash the unmarked weapons at the casino for you. The Terabyte also comes in very handy during many of the Auto Shop mini heist preps, as getting inside will mean the completion of certain jobs. And then you can use your spawn location tactic to start the finales faster. There's a neat little trick you can do to make your character run faster. While running normally, you will be in a normal state, but while in the alert state, your character will run a little bit faster. To do this, simply fire a bullet and then start running. Add to this equipping and unequipping of your weapon and the running speed is noticeably faster because you'll gain a tiny bit of speed from your animation. Get away cars, go! The driver has them in position. I'm often asked in my speedrun videos why I go in and out of first person. Well, it's all to do with stairs. There is a massive difference between the speed going up and down stairs in first person compared to third person. The largest set of stairs you're likely to come across is in a casino heist, as there are four flights of them. First person is also good for navigating the stairs in your auto shop and agency and wherever else you may find them. Another benefit is how much easier it is to navigate tight corridors, like in the Cape Rico, for example. Do you see the bonds? You know it is kind of us to be showing Mr. Ruby all the flaws in his security. Again. So there you have it. Nine advanced speedrunning strats you probably don't know. So if you found this video useful, please drop it a like and maybe consider subscribing for more. Or even better yet, you can leave a little tip by clicking the thanks button underneath this video, which will also highlight your name and comment in the comment section to show everyone what a legend you are. I'm Beatsdown and I'll see you in the next one.